Oh, no, you don't, buddy. Oh, no, you don't. I see you. I see you trying to come this way. You think you can mess with me? You think you can mess with me? <gasps> you think you can mess with my dodo friend? No! Oh, boy, here we go. <gasps> what? Two stone arrows was all it took? Oh, my gosh. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to uh, the wonderful Pixark little corner of the world, my little hut that we have here. And it appears that um, I'm not going to be so afraid to, to go and attack things anymore. What? I had no idea that's all it would take. And look at all this leather we just got. Yes. Yes, I am so happy right now. I think we can just make a bed. What a dramatic way to finally start everything again. Oh my gosh, who knew I just needed to throw a few arrows into someone's eyes. And why did I pick up my stairs? I was trying to pick up this clump of grass, not these stairs. That's fine, that's fine. All right, well, let's go inside. I am kind of amazed right now, and I am actually back from having been hanging out at the riverside, where I was just about ready to tear my hair out trying to figure out how to do the water intake but now we're not going to worry about that my friends we're going to worry about the fact that it is currently snowing here at the overlook outlook once again and we need to start con moving on continuing to move on for sure and i definitely want to start doing some more adventuring through the world so i have given it a little bit of thought and i think the best way that we can do some adventuring is getting our hands on a ton of food i would love to choose dodo eggs as my food of choice. Uh, so I want to make some dodo. I want to make like some really cute little dodo areas. And you may notice my house is a little different. I expanded it again. I put up some roofing. It still needs a whole bunch of um, work. <laughs> to say the least but i'm really proud of it and now i guess i can work on adding a bed which would be kind of amazing uh can i somehow move this Ugh, i hate when you put things down like only certain items you can actually go ahead and move uh, yeah, like I cannot move my mortar and pestle so I need to be very careful about where we put our bed but guys I think 15 dang it all right we're very close to being able to have enough leather for once. So let's go find another thing to poke. Here's some carry-on, which I can actually turn into sleepy arrows now that I know how. And I'm feeling really good. I had no idea it was going to be that easy to defeat some of the creatures around us. If I had known, I would have been a lot braver a lot early on. Uh, let's go ahead and use the carry-on to craft some of the sleeping potions. So now we have three sleeping potions. That's fantastic. Fantastic. And I have more narco berries hanging out in here. So let's swap some things around. I already have a whole bunch of the azul berries to go ahead and eat. Let's take this carry on. I had no idea that like bad meat would be good. But see, this is why I'm so excited to play blind. Thank you guys so much for the many, many suggestions. I am positive that you are leaving. I apologize if you're like, Siri, why are you not reading them? The reason, my friends, is because I love to play blind. I am asking my patrons whenever I get really, really stuck on something. But I'm so excited. I didn't know that that's all it was going going to take to be able to defend myself. So let's go and let's go poke some more of the chompers who want to chomp on me. And we're going to gain more leather as a result. And we can get more leather from the things that we collect if we use the axe. So thank you guys so much for telling me that little bit of advice too. Hello, Parasaur. One day I will have a saddle for you too. Gosh, I had no idea it was going to be that easy. <laughs> Maybe I just got really, really lucky though. So let's come up here. And as you may notice, I have started to put up torches around the world to light our way. Oh, but we're going to do this. Hello, male tri Triceratops. How are you doing? Uh, what do we have up here? Oh, we've got some smackers. And what do we have down here? A level 33 coyote. That might be a little bit much for me to handle, actually. Um, but you know what? I'm going to try. Oh, he saw me. <gasps> That's all it took again? A level 33 coyote and two smack smacks? Ugh. And now we have a whole bunch of fur and meat. So I could actually go and if I wanted to, I could eat some meat. And I would be able to, to take care of myself. That's all? Just a couple arrows? Jeez. All right. Well, I am now a hunter out on the world. <laughs> And we're going to start raiding all of these ruins. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? All right, well, I shouldn't have been so nervous. Shouldn't have been so nervous and I can't see a thing. Not even nervous about it now. We'll be able to handle ourselves. I might even start going into my big canyon that I love that's close to my home. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, you guys, it's my favorite. It's an egg. I'm gonna pick it up. I picked it up. Nobody was taking care of it. Maybe the coyote ate whoever was in charge of this egg. Uh, and also there's another wolf, which would actually give us fur. I should probably make a tailor's bench, huh? All right, I see you coming for me, buddy. Whoops, come on. There we go. All right, I got him from like really far away too. He didn't even react to it. And I got to pick up some of the arrows that I used against him too. Wow, wow. Okay, I feel really happy now. And we're definitely going to start raiding some ruins. Um, I had no idea it was going to be that easy and I'm going to put a whole bunch of the meat into my little chest actually. Uh, my little uh, like anti-decomposing chest. I'm just going to call it the fridge. <laughs> I'm going to put a whole bunch of the meat into my fridge uh, so that that way I will be able to use it to tame some of the meat eaters. Like maybe we'll be able to get some coyotes in our lives pretty soon which would be awesome. Unfortunately, coyotes only give us fur and I need leather if we are going to be able to make the bed. So let's go find somebody else to fight. Of course, I had to decide to do this when it is so dark at night. And then we can, we'll also hopefully have enough leather left over that I can tame my very first companion. I have been putting it off because I wanted to make sure I had a bed. So if I ended up disappearing from this world, I wouldn't I wouldn't lose my companion. Hello, buddies. And there's my fire guiding me back home. Wonderful. Wow, I feel so strong with this. I didn't know it was going to be that easy. Okay, there's always things that want to eat me in the cavern. So let's go over there and I will find some things to possibly to possibly poke. And then let's run this way. What's that? Is that an egg? No, it's poo. I need to make some compost bins because that's a lot of dino poo. And if I'm going to be in a world surrounded by so much dino poo, I might as well make use of it. All right. So ha, huh, this is probably like the, the moment Siri pulls out a bow and arrow, which are my favorite things to fight with, by the way. The moment she realizes her true potential and how much can be done in this world. All right. He's coming for me. He's coming for me. Did she just... Ah, no! <laughs> no, I was so close! It spat in my face! I need to go ahead and I need to actually... No, don't create a new sauce! Uh, I need to actually make the, the spit mask so that if it tries to spit at me again, I will handle that better. <sighs> well, you know, at least I'm feeling pretty good and that guy is going to give me the leather I need to actually get some things done. And guess what? Maybe while we float down from the sky, I can go ahead and increase my health. Why not? And let's make a run for it. Apparently I'm out of bows, so I need to remember to be er, er, out of arrows, so I need to remember to be careful. But at least I know where home is and we're very close to being able to make ourselves. Why, well, hello there, Sauropod. I haven't seen you in a while. We're very, very close to being able to make ourselves a bed, actually. And you know what? I'm just noticing this is definitely a different environment than where we have set up home. Look, and you can actually see the difference because now the trees are different. I didn't notice that before. The trees are different. And we've actually got all the snow here. And yes, I know it's very cold here, but I got to put up with it because there's my there's my death spot right over there. So how am I going to, I guess I'm going to have to just like throw my one spear at him and not let up. And maybe if I tame somebody, they'll like come into my defense and help me, help me fight. But yeah, I've actually never watched anybody play Ark for very long. And I've actually tried very hard to avoid watching people play Pixar because I love playing blind. That's just my style. If it's not yours, I fully understand that. And I wish you well. <laughs> So many dodos! One day you guys will be all my little friends! Oh gosh, you're so cute! Oh, so many cute dodos! Alright, all of the thatch, all of the berries. I just, I'm still carrying that egg, which is very exciting. And let's get out my spear, because I think 
Oh no, that's what happened. So we have one who's like super wounded. And then we have two in the group. So there was a friend somewhere that I didn't see coming on in. All right. Well, if I can actually wiggle over to my dust spot, it's so hard to see when it's so dark. I need to make one of those little candle things. All right, take all. Nice. And now I've actually got my bow and arrow back. Hmm. Do I want to do this? I mean, I took out that other one so quickly. I even took out... Come on. Yes! All right! <laughs> quiet and did he literally turn around and like eat the meat of the other one <gasps> i think it did what stunning creatures they're just literally eating each other all right and now i have to try to like see my way back up to the top can i just like make a torch please let's make a torch because this is ridiculous to not be able to even see where we're going um so let's make at least one torch and then pop that into my inventory and then we can at least take that out, I'm pretty sure. Nice, all right, yeah. I can at least have the torch out with us. Hey, stop that, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, fine, there, all right. Oh, this is so much better, okay, see? So I'm learning, all right. I can have the torch out. I think I can even collect things while running around with said torch. Oh, that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful, there we go. Some narco berries over here. And I should now have, finally, 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 I should now have enough of the, enough of the leather that I can make a bed. <laughs> so fighting them is not nearly as terrifying as I thought it would be, for sure. Uh, I actually have a friendly little dodo who apparently wants to live with me. So you know what? I'll even try making the dodo house today. That's how excited I am to get all of this done. So let's come on over bed so close yeah i have the four leather here and then right over here i should have <gasps> okay okay how much leather do i have here wait i could have sworn oh wait wait wait. Pfft, i'm looking at it backwards <laughs> all right there we go is that going to be enough to make a bed finally also don't leave that kind of disgusting mess in my house little me all right here we go all right is that going to be enough to make a bed finally 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 and yes oh i'm so happy right now next step is making a compost bin because why not <laughs> and then next step after that is going to be let's just make a compost bin just because it's here then we're going to work on making a little dodo area so i'm going to want some thatch foundation i don't know why i'm going to need eh, how much am i going to need let's just make 20 because i'm probably going to expand my house pretty soon and then some fences Let's go ahead. I'm going to need a lot of fences. So let's make, mm, let's make a hundred. Can I make a hundred fences? I can make 99 fences. Nice. So while that works, and apparently I'm going to carry all of that stuff around on me, let's grab the bed. And I have all of this meat now that I can use to tame a bunch of meat eaters, perhaps. And we're aware. There we go. Oh, it's so small. And this is all I needed. This is all I needed to make my life so much better. Uh, all right, and we can hold for more I options. I can rename the bed, and hopefully I can I can change it. This is my bed. This is my bed. This is where I want. I don't want to fast travel. I just want to make sure that I can tag this as like respawning at my bed. This is my bed now. Okay, hopefully, hopefully respawning here will work somehow. Um, and now I have the compost bin. Ooh, let's put down a couple of my flower pots. I have worked super hard today. I have worked super hard. Hopefully I can make some flower pots. I'm gonna put one there. And I'm gonna put one over here. I'm gonna pick this up. And then I can access the inventory. And I wonder how you can tell a flower to grow. Can I just like put the berry over here? I guess I have to figure out how to collect flowers next, don't I? Huh. So all right, the flower pots will just stay here till I figure out how to use them. No problem. But the bed is made. And now I have some carry on, which is actually exciting because that means I can come over here and I can make even more, even more sleeping potions. There we go. All right. And I can actually come over here. I don't think I need sleeping potions just yet. 
Uh, but we'll put all of the meat in here. And we'll put the egg in here, I suppose. Uh, let's see. We'll put more of the sleeping potions in here. I've got all of these berries. Fantastic. And if I'm going to take care of some dodos, then I do need somewhere to put them. So let's see. All right. Let's move the compost bin down here. We'll put that outside. And then there we go. The dodo nest. Yes, I am so tickled about this. Okay, and then we also need to make like a feed pot so that I can feed them. And I need to get a little bit more for maybe a feeding trough. I'm hoping that this is the right thing to do. I'm just kind of having to go with what I'm finding and kind of my, my instincts. All right, so let's close this. Uh, I probably should go ahead and relight. Hello, female... Parasaur, are you also a little bit chilly? Let me go ahead and light this fire. It should stay lit forever now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and collect these. And this is kind of the spot I've been thinking about leaving my little dodo nest. I probably don't need a dodo nest like first thing, but I really love dodos. <laughs> so I kind of want to try that. And then let's put the compost bin. Let's see, maybe over here somewhere. Kind of kind of out of the way, maybe towards where I might try to do some farming later. It's kind of really in the middle of nowhere, but I think that it's, it's going to do well here. And it should make, with some thatch and feces, it will actually create some high quality fertilizer. Uh, so now we just need a whole bunch of thatch to go in it. So we'll stock this puppy full of thatch, and then I will collect the dinosaur poo as needed, and that will help us out there. And then let's go ahead and grab the dodo nest. Is that death? Ah! No! 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 Come on! No! Come on! Sorry guys, it's really hard to aim. Ah! And then I got stuck in a tree! <laughs> All right, but I have a bed now. <laughs> Respawn at bed. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. I've never been so happy to die. All right. That's what I get for standing out in the middle of nowhere. Is this more poo? I cannot believe this. Oh, this is a dinosaur poo. So I think that was left over from my dodo. All right. Well, at least that's the shortest I've ever had to go in between dying. Oh, hello. So cute! Oh my gosh! Okay, hang on, buddy. Oh, and now you're gone again. Oh, you are adorable. Okay, if I run into that nasty creature, I will I will fight them again. But it doesn't really matter. Doing better. Need to tame somebody. Want to tame Dodo. <laughs> End of story. All right, here is the little Dodo, the little Dodo fenced in area. I'm gonna tuck them right over here. This is a nice little dodo nest. How do you access the inventory so you can release dodo? Capture female dodo. So, huh. And then, ah, there you are again. You're, you're naughty, naughty you. Uh -uh. Come on, gotta wait. You really have to strike right at the right moment or else things just get a little bit hectic. But hey, now we have more leather. Sweet. I know what I can do now. So that means, what about a parasaur? Can I just tame this parasaur? Why not? I have a whole bunch of berries, don't I? All right, let's walk up to it. Hello, friend. A feed an Azul berry to tame. Well, I should have a whole bunch of those. Like, right over here? So... Uh, hello? Okay, I ate the Azul berry, but I would like to feed you one. Can I not tame you? I have the Azul berries. Can I not tame you? I'm pressing, oh, there we go. Pressing the E. Tameable. It's taming, it's taming. <gasps> oh my gosh, am I gonna tame you? Oh, thanks, more poo. Okay, between you and the dodo. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's go see if we can tame this dodo. Am I really gonna tame him? Okay, hello. Hello, feed an Azul berry to tame. Do you like Azul berries? Hello. I would very much like to do that. It's not paying attention to me at all. Are you not hungry? Is that how it is? 
<laughs> Do you not want Azul Berries? Let's try a Tinto Berry instead and let's see what happens. Okay, no response there. What about an Amar Berry, eh? I'm pretty sure. <gasps> oh, 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 it's looking at the Amar Berry. Ah, that would be so exciting. Okay, I need to wait until it's hungry again. Let's grab the Azul Berry. Hi. Yeah. Okay, we have to wait till it's hungry. Let's run over here. Are you hungry again? Okay, I'm gonna feed you this berry. I hope. It's very, very confusing to me how I do that. Okay. Taming, taming. Okay, fed you another berry. You have to really wait, huh? All right, still working on taming. So cool, I need more leather if that's gonna be the case. <laughs> And if this little one wants some Amar berries instead, I need to collect up more of those, like, ASAP. Uh, good. Got some more. Got some more. Hello! Yeah, you know what? Feeding you probably wouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. However, taming you is definitely another question. Getting closer, getting closer. <gasps> okay, and you definitely want to wait until it's hungry before taming it. Oh, that's so exciting! Okay, and I think I can finally- can I work my little scanner yet? No, because I have my shield on, that's why. All right, let's run back over here. And you, my friend, might as well. Can I go ahead? Are you hungry? You're not terribly hungry. But you did take the berry, and your taming did go up quite a bit, which is very exciting. You literally look like you cooked the berry, my friend. Uh, all right, and then back over to the dodo. <gasps> look at all the eggs! She's leaving behind so many little eggs. How do I convince her? Oh my gosh, look at you. Hi. Hi. We're working on teaming. Do you want an Azul Berry? Are you pretty easy go lucky? You'll just eat any berry? Okay, there we go. She's just kind of eating any berry. Still working on taming her. Okay, gotta wait till she's hungry again. Apparently she's super hungry. At least I would think she would be super hungry. Okay. And then we'll run back over here. There's so much dinosaur poo on the ground. Why? Oh, that was apparently me, actually. All right, let's feed an Azul Berry to tame. You have to, like, really stand here and wait. There you go. I wonder... I guess it's just a very, very slow process. And I wonder if different berries... I think different berries, for sure, will have, like, different effects. Uh, let's see. Let's go back over. I really want this dodo. I really, really, really want this dodo. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, so close! So close on this dodo! So close on this dodo! I think you probably want to stay with them, huh? And you want to focus on one at a time. So let's gather up this. Maybe it will take down a couple trees whilst we wait. Thankfully, the trees seem to pop up in no time. But a bed and a dodo all in one day would make me so happy. Oh, and we've got another level up! Yes, level 22. Let's go ahead and actually increase our... Maybe our stamina? That sounds like a good thing to do. Just cause I can. All right, and then female dodo. Oh, good job. That's gonna go in the compost pile for sure. Uh, and then if I could, come on. <gasps> yes! Yes! I have tamed my first dodo! I am so happy! Welcome to the family, Martha. <laughs> my dodo from... <laughs> <laughs> my dodo from um, zoo crafting. How do I get Martha inside? How do I convince her? Hey, Martha, come on. How do I... Oh, I can pick her up. Yes, I can pick her up. I can convert to Pix block. No, thank you. I can set to aggressive. Uh, I can cycle her aggression. Let's pick her up. Ah! <laughs> I am so... So happy right now! I have my little Dodo! I am so ridiculously happy! Alright, let's go and put her inside of her nest if I can. Look, I've got a perfectly safe place for you. I have no idea how to actually capture female Dodo, maybe? Uh, can I- can I put her down inside of here? Okay. How do I put her down? Okay, that's actually a really good question! <laughs> I have picked up the bird. How do I put the bird down? Um, I guess E, maybe? Who knows? Maybe I can't put her down over here. All right. Well, let's try picking something else up. Nope. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. So E, pick up. I'm going to move her in here. Put her down. Nope, Martha, that's a little bit too much. Uh, how do I... 
<laughs> how do I capture female dog? Yay! Oh, look how happy she is! She's like, all oh, right, I'm safe in my little nest. This is so wonderful. Safe in my little nest. I'm so happy right now. So at least I think she's happy. Um, I hope so, at least. She seems pretty good. So, yeah, access the inventory. We have one dodo. They cannot get hungry or hurt. They still need thatch and other foods to produce eggs. Okay, so then you'll bring in the thatch over here, I guess? Uh, so fuel, thatch, what about berries? How do you, how do you fuel a dodo nest? <laughs> how do you feed them once they're in here? Hi, dodo, hi, little Martha. How you doing? How do I take care of you? I'm gonna figure that out. All right, for now, my dear, you are inside of the nest. Let me put down my big, uh, let me actually go ahead and put down my big food pot for the animals and figure out what goes in here. Basic fuel must be used to light the fire. Put various eggs, vegetables, and berries in it to make water, uh, or to make kibble, excuse me, not water. All right. Well, I think I'm making some progress and this is making me pretty happy. I'm going to have to figure out what the heck to do for Martha. I have a compost bin now, which can apparently really help me out. And uh, I guess I got to feed you more to tame you. And Azulberry, I don't think is her favorite. Yeah, that goes down super fast. So I probably want to focus on maybe trying to feed her a different thing and staying near her so that as soon as she's ready to eat more, there we go. Yeah, look at that. So you want to stay near her so she becomes tame. All right. Well, I'm going to wait. This is super easy. I thought this was going to be so much harder. <laughs> then I need to get a saddle for you, my dear. <laughs> so this makes me very happy. All right. Wait until she's hungry again. And there's another Tinto Berry. Those seem to do okay. Maybe there's one that will do even better. Let's try the Amar Berry. And yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how do I collect eggs? How do I feed my dodo? And if I can, oh, there we go. The Amara Berry seems to be a real favorite. Good, 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 good. All right, so I don't wanna go too far. My dodo is doing the happy dodo dance probably because she's safe and sound inside of a nest. <laughs> so she can't get hungry while she's in there. And I've almost tamed, almost, almost, almost tamed myself a brand new fantastic friend. Just a little bit longer. I mean, look, I literally had to bury a bush. Okay, it was just a bunch of fiber. But, oh, yes, all right. <laughs> Our animal museum has updated and we now have, um, oh, what am I gonna name her? Let's see, a parasaur, she's beautiful. She kind of reminds me of like the look of a chameleon. So I'm gonna name her Cami. So we're just gonna go with like, yeah, Cami. So we're gonna go with Cami. I think that's a lovely name. And she is now here. She is now with us and I can go ahead, convert to Pix block. Oh, I guess that's so you can carry her around perhaps. And we're going to just make sure that she stays, disable following. So I don't want her to follow me just yet, but all right, I just tamed my first two friends. I have a happy dancing dodo and I have a fantastic companion named Cammy who have now come to join me. <laughs> They've been basically hanging out in my front yard this whole time, so why not? So that makes me super happy. We'll be able to start doing some really great adventuring soon. I even have a little compost bin where we can start throwing all of this dino poo. <laughs> So that we can start crafting up, uh, basically, oh my gosh, I guess if you have the dino poo, you can really start crafting quite a bit. Uh, let's just add some of this, let's just add some of that, and we've got plenty of thatch in there. Fantastic. And I guess, how many do I need? Who knows? And we can just leave that to continue its crafting. So, yeah, I think, I think it's fine. Alright, good. Working on the, the basic fertilizer. Wonderful! Who knows how I even plant things? It looks like all the plants just pop up for me, but I'm pretty happy with that. And now I just need to figure out how to possibly eat some of the wonderful eggs <laughs> that Martha has been leaving behind for me. So I need to figure out how to feed her and I need to figure out how to uh, put a berry in to feed, to you to use catch to catch the dodo in the nest, put a berry in to feed your captured dodos to produce eggs. Okay. Huh. I wonder how, oh, do I just like drop the berry in? 
Maybe? That seems kind of silly, but it might be worth it <laughs> to try, I guess. Uh, let's see. Rename Dodo Nest. What if I go ahead and I guess drop this? So, drop. Does that... Is that... Nope, that's not the way to do it. All right, well, I'll ask around. <laughs> that's probably not the way to do it. I will ask around at how to feed my dodo properly. And uh, it looks like Martha's super happy. She is just doing the, the dodo dance. So wonderful. Really slow progress, but I'm getting there. Figuring stuff out. Next time, I'm going to make a saddle. And we're going to start riding Cammy around so that we can do some more exploring. And I may even start poking inside of some of the ruins nearby. There's so many of them. I am surrounded. And now that I know all it takes is a couple hits with an arrow for a lot of things, we'll be fine. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.